Damn. Have you guys seen the uh, It's Corn TikTok? Have you seen oh, yeah. that? Oh, yeah. It's everywhere. It is It is everywhere. Let me pull up the original thing. For me, I really like corn. For me, I really like corn. Let's see here. Also, you gotta give it to that kid without the two front teeth. It'd be yeah. really hard to eat corn. Oh. Oh, yeah. What do you like about corn? That's probably why he's missing his two front teeth, because he's just shredding fucking ears of corn. He's just like... I'd like to think that, like, whatever town he's from, all the corn farmers have been experiencing, like, a, some kind of creature out in their crops that's just destroying their corn. And is just, like, shredding it. And they're like, there's something out there... And the police don't believe him. Like, there's something out here destroying our crops of corn, dude. And it's just this kid. Oh my god. Looks like a fucking beaver chewing log. Yeah. Oh my god. This song's finally gotten to the point where, like, you're getting the schizo posts, like, loading a shotgun as I hear this song for the millionth time today, and then you load it into their mouth and just pull the trigger. Yeah. It's, uh, it's finally gotten to that point. That's always a fun, um, a fun, uh, step in a memes evolution life cycle. It's always a good time. The schizo posts. But, yeah, that's, that's not the news here. The news here is that Corn Kid, Corn Kid, appointed or anointed South Dakota's official corn ambassador by Governor Christy... Gnome? Noam? I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. But, uh, this is incredible, right? Um, you know, we, we lose a queen, but we gain a corn king, right? I mean, this yeah, is fucking amazing. Yep. What's this kid's real- uh, Tariq. Yeah, Tariq. Tariq, oh, yeah, Tariq. Tariq has appeared in ads and become one of the most posted and looked at faces online. His parents, out of a concern for the family's privacy, have withheld Tariq's last name do you know Damn. there's some fucking psycho out there that's gonna dox this kid oh a hundred percent his last is probably corn that'd be amazing um, to read corn, to read corn. Oh, that's a good really name he really is child of the corn <laughs> yep oh <laughs> uh, yeah this kid's everywhere he's on the Washington Post I, he's on this lady's yeah. I don't know she's fucking thing she's with the governor it's amazing. It's a good song. It is a good song. It's I've heard it a lot, and I haven't gotten to the point where like I'm ready to not hear it ever again. Um, but I'm getting there. Oh, I'm getting there. What about like the guy though that actually made the song? Because like, obviously, Tariq did not make the song. Yeah, this guy's name is uh, Shmoyo. He's receiving all of the accolades and credit. It puts none of the work in. Yeah, I think yeah. I think Shmoyo is probably okay with how things are. He's doing pretty well <laughs> on TikTok. He's got over half a million followers, 20 million likes. I think he'll be okay. I mean, this definitely had to have helped. I mean, it definitely it didn't hurt his. Oh yeah, this is definitely oh. like his viral moment, right? Yeah. This is the peak. Um, it's all downhill from here. Sorry, yeah. bu sorry, bud, but uh, that's how it is. Uh, yeah, here's a good. I've been on the internet article. lately. You might know who this is. The boy who went viral for his praise of corn was invited to South Dakota's Corn Palace and named the state's official. The Corn, corn Palace. Over the weekend, the state's Department of Tourism he gets welcomed a crib? Corn Kid Tariq to the world's only Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota. His South Dakota has a Corn, corn Palace. A recess therapy video was. Turned into a TikTok audio and has since gone viral. Wow. South Dakota's governor issued a proclamation me the right, cake puns the corn and references palace. to Tariq's viral video declaring September 3rd as official corn, corn ambassador Tariq oh. Day. I he has a day after him now. Thing. It's gone. I can tell you all about it. I mean, just look at this thing. When I try to it Dude, this kid's gonna be like in his 50s. Just and he's going to have people coming up to him. Can you sing the corn song? <laughs> he will also receive a scholarship <laughs> to learn about South Dakota's... This <laughs> poor kid, industry. man. That's all according to local media. I never saw this. I wish I got excited about anything. The people will probably forget about it. 
Bro, these these comments are fucking crazy. What comments? Just, well, like ones that the whoever made this article they just pulled from Twitter and just put them on here. Like this one from Juju. It said, <laughs> "I feel bad for the corn kid." I feel like we love him because his love of corn is so pure, but within a week, the internet turned him into a corn influencer. And now he's got a cameo and all these ads. They're just sucking him dry of his pure love for corn. What the fuck? That's that's insane. Juju, you're wildin', bro. Get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? <laughs> God dang. I think, yeah, I, I, I Get out of here, Juju. Is that Juju smith Schuster's? Yeah. Burner account or something. It's not. It's and a this person goes, y'all made the corn kid too famous. He's about to grow up Lando Brown. Well, I don't know about too famous then because I don't know who the fuck Orlando Brown is. But I was uh, going to say that too, but I was afraid that like he's someone I should know. Let's see. Hey, Lando. Is he like an NFL guy? That's what I thought. No, he's an actor. He's a child actor. It looks like he... Uh, Oh, oh, okay, I know who he is. Yeah, I don't know who. I don't know who he is. Thanks. I mean, if I saw a picture of him, I may know who he is, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this guy. Dude. So, he's in the Corn Palace now? Is that, like, his house? Yeah, does he live there at the palace? How does yeah, that work? Like his, That's what I'm saying. That's his kingdom now, dude. He's got an army of, like, these corn mascots that just work for him now. Dude. Can you imagine if, like, MTV was still a thing, and they just did, like, an MTV crib, like, for him at the Corn Palace? Oh, my goodness. The Corn King at the Corn Palace? The, yeah. He's like, what's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. Fucking walks in, and there's just, like, corn everywhere. It's literally just piles of corn. The walls are made out of corn. The entire place is made out of corn. Corn? Corn? Dude, this is, like... Like, I want to go to South Dakota now. I might want to move there. I'm, I mean, I wonder... He probably has, like, butlers and shit at the palace, right? Or, like, jesters. Oh, I guarantee it, dude. They're just I all could be giant a jester. Of corn. They're all just giant ears of corn. Yeah. I could be the jester for the corn... Am, the corn ambassador. It's wild to see, like, a political career start at this young of an age. I wonder... You know, I wonder what word will take him, you know, as the corn ambassador. Maybe he could become the corn ambassador of, like, the U.S., right? Take corn overseas? Yeah. I'd imagine there probably is corn overseas already. He's going to put corn on Mars. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> it's going to be the greatest corn map. He's going he's gonna to make corn great again. That's what he's going to do. I'm Fuck, telling you. dude. The hats are going to be yellow bright yellow can i write in this guy for president in 2024 